Hello everyone, Michelin's back here with Super Mario Galaxy. In the last time we last episode we started off the bedroom, now we've got Daredevil Comet. Oh god no, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of this because if it is what I think it is, and I'm pretty sure it is what I think it is. Because it is what it is, and I have since uh um ceased to make any sense. Yep, Major Burrows, Daredevil Run. Oh boy, yeah, you saw how I handled that last time. Though at least when there are daredevil runs for the bosses, you start off near the boss and don't have to go through all that pointless crap leading up to it. So, hopefully this will work. Now, why do you have to include all the cutscenes too? Loading time, maybe? Whoa! Oh yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, he has to have, has to be sticking out of the ground when you do that. My bad. It's like I forget how to play the game in the eight minutes that it takes me to <laughs> play another level in between. Because I've probably mentioned I do recording sessions. I don't just record one episode at a time. I record several and then cut it up from there. But yeah, I basically fought this guy about ten minutes ago or so. Yeah. Oh. I had that coming. Cutscenes! Hargle bargle to you too. Oh. <laughs> and now he comes back up at me one more time. What? You know, the weird thing about all this is that Major Burroughs is giving me more trouble than Boulder Geist. I don't think many people would consider this one of the harder bosses in the game. It's not, I'm just STUPID! <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, come on, no, 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 YES! Freaking! I cannot believe it was harder for me to beat Major Burrows than it was Bullergeist, but each person has their own ups and downs and that might be a left or a right, I'm not even really sure what you call it. And I missed. I can't believe that I missed when trying to jump at this freaking star! And next up, and I believe last up for now, we have... Oop, oh, in uh, Secret Star thing in Gusty Gardens, Gravity Scramble. Now, I kind of talked about what this was, but I gave you, like, the very basic... Actually, that, that started off pretty bad. Um, let's... Jerk. Alright. Now, see, these coins. Golden coin things. Big question mark coins. You gotta... You gotta collect them. And counting as collecting them is basically touching them at all with that piece of fluff. And I think, yeah, this will take you straight to it. And basically, you just gotta keep collecting these coins in a series. Because they... I don't know, decided that was the best way to design this. I really don't... Okay, alright. I hate when you're at the forefront of that. We get a rainbow star? Interesting. See that chomp up there? I missed. But the golden-looking chain chomp thing? Yeah, this is exactly what you think. And if you're still not sure what I'm getting at, well, you haven't been playing these games enough. You get... Sim very simple, relatively speaking. You get... A... Star. Yeah, a star. And now that Gusty Garden Galaxy is finished for now, we will open the next galaxy in the main progression, which is... Freeze Flame Galaxy. I really like this one, part of which is just pure nostalgia for Banjo-Tooie and its level Hailfire Peaks, which is built around the same idea of let's take a level and put two things next to each other that don't really belong. So right now we are on the ice side with the frozen peak of Baron Brr. Baron Brr. I just like doing the trill sound, trilling sound on that. 
Then we start off ice skating, and we run into a penguin. Hey, old man, you're practicing how to skate too? Why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? Um, well, I guess Mario... I don't know how old Mario is. How can one penguin move so fast? You're a jerk. You are a jerk. I... You gotta catch the penguin while I don't, I don't know. The game spends the rest of this time loading their environment? I don't know. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you might have a chance. A small chance, maybe, but a chance. You? Let's race again sometime. Ah, dang it. I couldn't do the third. I would get, I, like I said, stomping on people's heads is an awesome mechanic in this game. Now, get to know the layout of this area well. Look at it, look around. If you're playing through this along with me, which, good on you if you do, I would, I'm surprised that anybody would do that, but this area, you will come to not like it very much at some indeterminate point in the future. Because... Well, it kind of does a thing that not a lot of people like. You'll see if, jeez, it'll be another, I honestly have no clue at this point how long it'll be before that happens, but for now we gotta get the ice flower because it, we need to turn ourselves into ice because otherwise we can't do anything with, jerk! Yeah, this is one thing I don't like about this section, that you have to basically get it all in one go with the ice flower. And yeah, up there is the one up. It's kind of, you need to get that in one go if you want that, but overall, I mean, it's just kind of like, I guess it's a decent enough challenge. It's not too difficult or uh, unfair is the word I'm looking for. And yeah. If you notice a bunch more frozen water here near frozen water frozen water is ice. Ah, 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 ah. Cold really cold water. This is the part that's unfair ish in difficulty. You got to put together a nice You got to put together a run where you get to this with enough time to run up there. It's close enough that it's slightly, mildly troublesome without being really unfair. And now we have found Baron Burr. I wonder if that name was based off of Aaron Burr. I mean, it sounds like the kind of thing that the American localization team would do because I don't know this guy's actually, this guy's Japanese name, what the original joke was because, well, you know, Nintendo always has a joke to the names they put out there. I mean, just look at Pokemon for, oh, 600 some examples of that. I don't remember the exact number off the top of my head because I'm woefully out of the loop. I basically am just now caught up on Diamond. <laughs> I'm not really caught up on Black and White. And Baron Butter. You basically just need to get him to slam into the ground, spin into him a couple of times. And really the hardest part about this battle is getting up here. Because he throws some stuff at you that can be a little hard to avoid. But, I mean, like I said, the hardest part really is just getting up here. He's not that much... He's not... He's not that much difficult... I, I, English! Learn to speak English! Jesus! I, 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 I have no control over what I say. Star. And since I have the time and the occasion would be star number 50, we go on to Freeze Flame's Blistering Core. Now we're seeing the fire side of Freeze Flame Galaxy or Hailfire Peaks, whichever. I, like I said, I think I like this mostly for the nostalgia factor with that. And now we've got to, yep, 
more loading times disguised by loading a small environment and letting you and forcing you to spend a bunch of time there for weird reasons. I, I, I think that's what they do. It's a great little shortcut actually because um, you can't like loading screens aren't very common on Nintendo games. They don't like having them. And since you can't do things like you can't put mini games on loading screens because some company has a patent on it and they're not willing to share. Yeah, I know that the stupid things that you can patent. And so they decide to basically not have loading screens and just make it part of the game. And I love the way this thing looks. I okay, I'm a sucker for things with lava. It just always looks really good in things, usually. Usually. It makes things better. I would say it makes things cooler, but then I would go into a rant about, oh, how warm molten lava actually is, and the whole... Y y you know. You know me. I'm a nerd. I'd go in, I'd start talking about all this crap because, well, I find it interesting. I find it fascinating. Like, Mario should be fried right now, right here, because convection. Nobody in fiction has ever heard of it, apparently. You know, Jedi don't get scorched by just being close to the lava. Yes, I referenced the Star Wars prequels. I happen to kind of like Revenge of the Sith. Say whatever you like. Say whatever you want about that. I actually like that movie. That's all I'm saying about that for now, because otherwise, it'll turn into a discussion of Star Wars, not of Mario Galaxy. And really, I'm here to play Mario Galaxy because you people like watching me play Mario Galaxy. What is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with this world? I don't know. I don't know. I enjoy the ha I enjoy the hobby too. So it's as much for what's wrong with me as what's wrong with you. And that hey, hey. You transformed into Fire Mario. Shake to shoot fireballs. I did not realize we haven't used that yet. I swore we would have used this at some point. The one negative about this is that um, Fire Mario has a time limit, which was something new for this game, which I, I don't like. I mean, I guess I see why they had to. I guess the... There better be a- oh, good, there's a life shroom right there. Which restores my health and puts it up to six, so good good on you. Good on you, Mario. Good on you. I mean, I guess I understand why they had to do the- ah! I guess I understand why they had to put the time limit on fire, Mario. It just- I don't like it. It's a good game decision. it's a good game design decision. It's not a good I like this decision, but- it, it, I'll grumblingly go along with it and say, yeah, it's the best best thing you could have done with... George! Jeez. Jibba babada. Jibba babada. And yeah, I'm sorry if any of you are named George. Just, that just, I don't know why I've been yelling that so much. I mean, it's one of the things I usually yell, but it's not so much. Not, not as much as I have been in these videos. Whoa! Triple jump gets me up there, gotcha. And we're on this rolling log thing, which we're not on long enough for the fact that it rolls to make any difference. Huh, what do you know? And I hate these... I hate these things because they get in your way. The only way to kill them is with fireballs. One fireball can only take one of them out. And they keep respawning from nowhere. Let's just get another shot at this because this is just... Oh, yay! Good. Die! That was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. That worked. I don't know how, but that worked. Wow. I, I, I thought I was going to end up regretting that when, you know, I end up regretting it because it was a stupid thing to do. 
You know, plans are raisy, ra ra raisy, rarely crazy enough to work, but they're usually crazy enough to blow up in your face in a hilarious manner. But if they literally blow up in your face, that's not so hilarious when you have no face, ask Harvey Dent. Yes, going off of the, the Dark Knight's way of Harvey Dent, not off the comic way where they got acid thrown on his face during a trial in a courtroom. That's just... Uh, that's the version of his story I'm more familiar with! Why am I so stupid? Actually, that... <laughs> I am. I am trying some stupid things and they're working much better than they should be! Star. You know, after what's happened in this episode, I should probably take back what I said about things rarely being crazy enough to work because apparently that's kind of what happened here. And, anyways, Michelin's here with Super Mario Galaxy, and I will see you guys next time.